Hamilton-based Hill Laboratories is an independent, locally owned testing business that was established over three decades ago. Now, as well as undertaking agricultural and environmental analyses, Hill Laboratories are world leaders in testing food for chemical residues. We're at the Hill Laboratories Food Testing Lab, based at Waikato Innovation Park, Ruakura, at the outskirts of Hamilton. This is where we do the majority of our food testing. Huge investment in equipment here. We've got the latest and greatest technologies within New Zealand, delivering state-of-the-art results. Some of the stuff here we're turning around very quickly as uh, we've got customers waiting uh, to send export stuff overseas. So we're streamlining the process and, and some of the technology is, is allowing us to shape uh, hours and minutes of uh, the turnaround of um, different testing. Hill Laboratories is located in three locations in New Zealand. Our main labs are here in Hamilton, a lab in Christchurch and also a laboratory in Blenheim. We have four sites in Hamilton and overall we have about 350 people working in the business. We started as a soil testing lab. We diversified into environmental testing and then food analysis. And so we're quite diverse and all of those areas are important to us. The bulk of the work is probably environmental, followed by both agricultural testing and food testing. We're finding environmental testing, a large portion of that is really to do with the management and understanding of nutrients that are bleeding off our agricultural farming operations. It started when I decided to leave my previous employment, which was at a small laboratory in Cambridge that I'd set up. My wife and I decided to have a go and try and do it by ourselves, and we set up the lab in Hamilton. We've been in business now for 31 years, and when we started, our aspirations were just perhaps to have a business that could support four or five staff. That was all we aimed to achieve, and it just grew and grew. I think a large part of it has been that we were in the right place at the right time and that we employed some very good people. But it has just been really a story of constant growth and it's still growing today. I think people are more and more interested in testing on all fronts, whether it's the quality of the food, what's going on in the soil, what's happening in the environment. It just seems to be just an increasing demand for testing. That brings its own challenges. Uh, testing methods have to have to become uh, more cost effective and we have to find ways to produce more data for a lesser cost. And so that's part of the challenge we face. One of the nice things that's happened is that my elder son, Jonathan, has a real interest in this area. And so he's come into the business about 10 years ago and he's now part of our executive leadership team. And so we can see a way where it hopefully will stay in the family and in private ownership for many years to come. The food market in particular is the most rapidly developing market for us. I think that's driven by consumer awareness, consumer interests and the science around food manufacture continues to evolve and develop. There are new ways to make food, there's in particular new pesticide residues are always being developed. So that's an area that we really need to be at the top of our game in terms of our technology. It's our customers who are food producers, and it's been driven ultimately by their customers, so it's sort of market demand for food safety really is most of what we're testing for. We do most of the pesticide residue testing for Zespri for their exports. When that fruit hits the market offshore, there are any number of laboratories that will be testing that fruit to ensure it's safe for consumption. In particular, they're looking for pesticide residues. So we need to make sure that our lab is going to be as good as any lab in the world in that regard. So we have invested considerable energy into uh, developing methods for pesticide residue testing in kiwifruit. Soil testing has always been a big part of our business. In fact, it was where the business started, soil and plant testing for agricultural customers. It's been developing and evolving over the years, as you would imagine. Recently, in the last five or ten years, there's been some significant evolutions and developments in the technology. We're now using near-infrared or NIR technology extensively for our analyses. What the NIR technology allows us to do, probably from an end customer perspective, is to improve the throughput through our laboratory so we can effectively process small samples in a shorter amount of time. And to give you a sense of the scale, on a big day during our busy season, we can be processing over a thousand samples a day. In terms of food testing in particular, 
it's important that we continue to invest in the latest technology. Regulations are always being updated and typically those regulations will reflect what is technically possible and if we don't have the technology within our business then we may not be able to deliver the sort of data that allows our customers to meet their regulatory requirements and particularly around um, pesticide residue analysis and similar sorts of analyses the technology is just screaming ahead at just a phenomenal rate so it's exciting to be part of it but it is also challenging and as they say in business if you're standing still you're probably going backwards and it's certainly true for our business in that regard. We are looking at what the future may hold for us. I think as there's going to be continued growth in the areas we're already servicing. There's exciting developments in the area of molecular biology which is more to do with biological testing um, and so we're looking to develop our capabilities in that area but generally I think it's just going to be continued growth across the board. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.